traders from around the world, what's going on? It's your boy, Ricky Cadden, back again with another free real life stock review from Real Life Trading Australia. I want to give a big shout out to everyone who has joined for the free week. We're absolutely thrilled to have you there. And if you haven't joined already, hop on over to reallifetrading.com. I'll leave a link in the description below and get there. ASAP. We are making money in the markets, guys, and there is just some absolute killer analysis in the afternoon room as well. If you want to learn, here's your opportunity to learn for a whole week for free. There's only three more days left in the week, and we only do this twice a year. So if you're not there, get there tomorrow. It's going to be amazing. Let's talk about the markets. SPY, beautiful, beautiful retest gap today. Um, and we did actually retest and played that in the morning room. So if we just take a look at the five minute, at the start of the day, before the market opened, Jeremy did say that SPY will most likely have a super bullish day or it's just going to fade immediately. And as you can see, as soon as this support kind of got broken from pre-market. We just broke down, retested, and then went lower. And right here is where we got in bearish with a stop right here. So if you did get to play that and take advantage of that move in the morning room, well done to you fine folks. It was awesome. Uh, if you take a look at the daily, where I think the market is going to be headed, um, I'll just draw some quick fib lines here. Oh, sorry. Uh, right here. So this, I have, I have said this last week. My target still is around 305.20 um, before we do see some sort of pullback. So I am expecting something like this to occur. Um, but yeah, keep your eyes out on SPY for a little bit more of a bullish push and then get ready to buy the dip. Here's the DIA, the Dow Jones, and just looking absolutely glorious at the moment. Beautiful gap and go, oops, beautiful gap and go today, and a beautiful gap fill and retest. So this one will most likely trade higher and create some new all-time highs this week. Here's the IWM, kind of just chilling, but this is a beautiful hammer of Thor right at the 100 simple moving average on the daily. So I do expect, we are getting increasing volume, so I do expect IWM to start to break out a little bit higher. Uh, took a trade on Beyond Meat. There's a lot of people playing Beyond as it was super, super bullish the last couple of weeks. And in the afternoon room, Jeremy has been speaking about pretty much back here, like, you know, just buy a couple of shares, don't, you know, mitigate your risk, but this could go back to 200 and that's exactly what it did. Um, so Beyond Meat, personally, I took a short on this last night. Take a look at the five minute and here's how I played it. Um, right here, got in short, stop way up here and was just trailing my stop very, very slowly and then ended up getting trailed out right here for about 0.5. Uh, could have left it all day to create more gains, but being here in Australia, did want to go to sleep. So um, that's all good. So Beyond Meat is getting pretty extended up here. It might retest and go a little bit lower. We'll, we'll, we'll see. Um, we are getting a little bit of well, a bit, little bit of well away from the the 10 EMA on the daily. But from here, guys, a lot of selling happening up here as this is a previous resistance level, and this is a, a nice upper wick. So. I'm definitely not buying up here, that's for sure. So Beyond Meat, um, look to buy the dip or just be cautious if you are shorting because there are short squeezes happening as you can see right here. Look at this volume, wow. Uh, okay, let's take a look at Netflix. And Netflix, gorgeous, gorgeous inside day candle. Um, this is gonna be one to look out for. Now, most likely I have this line drawn at 302.31 as a support, and we have not yet filled this gap right here. Um, so personally, I do want to buy Netflix long-term. I do think 
uh, we will end up going higher, but I am just trying to buy as low as possible. So we'll see how this candle plays out as it is, as it is an inside day candle. Um, if we gap down and break, uh, if we gap down, we'll probably I'll probably trade it lower. And uh, if we have another cute little inside day, I'll just leave it. But um, if we gap up, this will be a nice little a uh, nice little day trade to take for a short term bullish trade. Uh, but Netflix looking absolutely amazing. If we take a look at the long term moving averages, we are still well away. And on the weekly chart, we're right at the 100. So just, yeah, I mean, we have bounced off here before, guys. It is a nice place to go long. Um, so just keep your eyes on Netflix. We probably will break this 100. Um, a little bit uh, just to kind of trap a few uh, trap a few bears and then most likely will trade higher so look for some lower wicks that's that's personally what I'm looking for some really nice lower wicks get some people trapped and then I'll look to take this thing bullish here's Shopify and I did mention last week we have got earnings right around the corner and we are at a resistance level me personally not taking things taking Shopify bullish I will be looking to purchase something that rhymes with put options um, up at this level more so as a, as, as a small speculation not going to um, load up on put options here as I am I am actually personally bullish on Shopify, but I'm definitely not going to be buying up here at these levels. I did say back here, um, right here, that most likely we are going to chop around sideways here for a little while. Um, I do, I would love to buy off the off the 100, but if we could get, if we could go lower, that'll be even better. Um, so Shopify, cute little evening star right now and just look to buy the dip and hold long term if we get a very good buying opportunity here's paypal another day trade we took in the morning room and i personally only got out of this for a 0.5 r loss take a look at the five minute uh this is how we played it it was and i had our entry right here with a sorry with, with a stop just below it was actually my stop was way down here and i as we started breaking down i did get to trail out for a one uh, 0.5 r loss so that was okay um but paypal beautiful trade um and it did have a nice little double bottom and go higher cute little retest wow i kind of wish i hung around for a little bit longer there is a beautiful little morning star anyway PayPal, great gap, and long term, most likely will create some new all time highs. Here's Coca Cola, gorgeous gap and go today over earnings. Um, this one pretty much just ran straight out the gate. If you take a look at the, sorry, if you take a look at the five minute, you had to be, you had to pretty much go bullish straight away. Um, yeah. I mean, you take a look at the three minute here. We did have a cute little retest. I missed it um, because I was in PayPal, but it did break out, have this cute little retest of the pre-market high and did continue high. So Coke, if anyone did take Coca-Cola bullish, uh, well done to you guys. Right here, we are at all time highs again, so I'm not gonna be um, buying up here. So I'll just look to buy the dip. And yeah, that's Coke. And this auto nation ticket symbol AN was probably the gap of the day. This was on our list in the morning room and you really had to take this on the one minute. Um, if I zoom back into the first couple of minutes of the day, beautiful gap and just look at this little evening star, oh, sorry, morning star reversal. We had a quick little push higher a little sell off and this absolute amazing hammer and pretty much you would have just had your entry above here stop below here and there's your trade and really just ran um automation spew and i missed that one but was a great trade if you did get to take it so well done for those who played auto nation brilliant trade Here's Apple. Haven't looked at this one for a while and Apple's just been doing what Apple does, going bullish. 
Um, cute little retest gap and we did retest today and go higher. Looking at the five minute, there's your retest right there. Nice little double bottom. Cute little, re cute little retest and traded higher. Um, Apple right now, be bullish, hold long term. Um, we are coming back up into this high right here at 212. And from there, most likely we will trade up and then have another dip buying opportunity before we do go higher. So keep your eyes peeled for a quick little bearish trade on Apple in the next coming weeks, probably the next week and a half, two weeks, and then look to buy the dip around 200 again as we come back down. Here's the All Lords, and we are so close, guys, to creating some new all-time highs. All-time high being 68.73.2, and the high of today's was 68.69.7. So most likely, we probably will create a new all-time high tomorrow, and that is absolutely incredible. We have been talking about this going bullish for some time now and if you just take a look at the short-term moving averages this was literally an absolute beautiful little double bottom straight off the 20 and just absolutely went higher so all lords stay bullish on the markets guys everything does look amazing cba uh this is most likely going to consolidate here for a while i have been saying that for a while most likely look for something like that. Um, allow these moving averages to come back into play and the long-term moving av averages are still a well away. So most likely, if you are going to look to, um, you know, you could look to sell some premium up here, you know, maybe up around $84. That would be a nice level to sell. Uh, we do have earnings right around the corner. So it'd be interesting to see how that plays out. Uh, here's BHP and BHP for the most part is just chilling. Um, we have had a fairly bullish run, especially on the iron ore futures. It is kind of pausing here at about $120 a ton. Uh, so BHP is most likely just going to consolidate here for a little while. Um, so if you're in bullish on BHP or if you've got long-term shares, just look to sell some covered calls, sell some premium up here, maybe 42 or $43. Uh, that looks really, really nice. Here's Unity Wireless, ticker symbol UWL. And I haven't really spoke about this since back here. Um, I said that most likely we will roll over and a good level to buy would be off the 100, which was back down here, I think. Uh, well, about, about here. Yeah, so most likely the 100 will come into play. Um, Unity Wireless, we did sell off, so I'm hoping that nobody went in bullish up here right at the top of the market. That would have been a little bit silly, but um, yeah, we are pulling back a little bit today. So most likely I am looking for a little bit more of a sell off, maybe create some lower lows, get some bears trapped, and then, you know, 100 will come into play and hopefully go bullish. So Unity Wireless looking really really nice long term for a dip buying opportunity here's elixinol global uh this is a cannabis stock here in australia and pretty much for the most part most of the 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 cannabis companies are pulling back and pretty much just consolidating sideways and i did really mention that probably back at the end of may or the start of june that most likely we will start to see a lot of sideways movement here and a little bit more of a consolidation um, and that's pretty much what's happening with exl here as well a good level to buy would be around uh would be around you know 364 or maybe even off the, the 200 on the daily. And if we just bring up the short-term moving averages on the weekly, you could, yes. I mean, if it came back down to the 50 on the, on the weekly chart, that also would be a really nice buying location for EXL. So keep your eyes on a dip buying opportunity. Um, it does look good long-term, love the trend. We did have a beautiful 
you know, one, two, three, four, five wave, and then here's your ABC correction. So is this going to be the start of the next, you know, Elliott wave, five wave count? Who knows? Um, but I will definitely keep you guys posted and keep an eye on things on Elixinol Global. Here's APX and pretty much APX just being absolutely bullish. Long-term moving averages, bullish and pretty much. So most likely we will end up coming back down to this level to fill this gap at some point. I don't know when. Um, we have had a fairly bullish run. If we just take a look here from the start of the year, we are up over 165%. So a lot of people profitable and we really haven't had a massive pullback at all. So, I mean, at some point, at some point, this will pull back some and that will definitely be a dip buying opportunity. If we could come all the way back down to the, if we could come all the way back down to the 200, that would be an absolutely amazing buy just like we did right here. So APX still looks bullish, but realistically you want to be taking profits if you are in right now. Let's take a look at the commodities. And here's gold. Um, I posted it up in the real life trading Slack channel on my uh, my analysis on gold. I mentioned last week I am looking for um, a retest of this little wedge to take bullish, and I am currently in bullish on gold. So gold, this is a dip buying opportunity. I do think we will go higher. Um, just keep your eyes peeled. If you're not in. Obviously, um, yeah, obviously stay long in the markets. Um, sorry about that. Uh, it, US oil or crude oil uh, have been taking a couple of short-term trades on at, at, at this point in time because I am fairly neutral. I'm just looking to buy low, sell high at this point. Uh, the last few days, I have looking. I have been looking just to buy here. I bought here and I bought here, just for some short-term trades. And um, I still am fairly neutral. I wouldn't mind if we had a little bit more of a sell-off on oil. That would, to me, be a way better buying opportunity if we could buy back down here. Um, but I'll definitely keep an eye on things on that one on oil. So US oil still bullish to neutral, um, but short term, if we can get a small little dip by back down here at $50, that would be absolutely incredible. And here's the Aussie dollar and just missed this short trade right here. I have been speaking about this for a while that most likely will come back up to the 200 on the daily. And I pretty much just missed it. If you take a look on the 15 minute, it was just an absolute amazing little double top right here and then a break and retest. So that's where I would have got in with a stop way up here. And this would have been a beautiful four or five hour trade. Um, but all in all, short term, uh, sorry, I am a little bit bearish on the Aussie dollar at the moment. Um, but obviously, I will look to go long if we come back down to these lows. But for now, I'll just keep an eye on things and stay out of it. Anyway, guys, that's all I've got for you today. I'll be back on Thursday with another real life stock review. And if you're in the morning room, I will see everyone there for the free week. And until Thursday, love life, live life, and trade it. Have a great day next couple of days. Bye.